All right, now Kenya is yet to decide whether or not it will mix and match shots of the COVID-19 AstraZeneca and Pfizer vaccine after Oxford University-driven research indicated that receiving the two different shots as first and second doses induced higher antibodies. Well, this comes as the country awaits over one million doses of the Pfizer vaccine donated by the United States government from next week. The race to achieve herd immunity is one that is slowly outpacing the world, given vaccine supply challenges. This occurring amidst surging COVID-19 infections across the globe, owing to the Delta variant. But a recent report from the Comcov study trial, spearheaded by the University of Oxford, indicates that a mix and match approach to COVID-19 vaccines will help elevate these issues and create more flexibility in the immunization regimens available to people. The Comcov study, which looked at giving the doses four weeks apart in 850 volunteers aged 50 and above, found that AstraZeneca followed by Pfizer induced higher antibodies and T-cell responses than Pfizer followed by AstraZeneca. Additionally, both of these mixes induced higher antibodies than two doses of AstraZeneca. It's very good. It's reassuring. Uh, and there is obviously many more so-called mix and match studies that are ongoing. What I don't think we can do is to provide a generic recommendation that you can mix and match in any way you want. Um, this is product specific and it is important that these data are being generated. In Kenya, the Ministry of Health is yet to determine whether or not the mix and match approach will be a viable option. So far, 1.74% of the population has been fully vaccinated. Yes, data is emerging, but again, still this is work in the pipeline. In some countries like Spain, Germany, those who receive their first dose of uh, Pfizer vaccine uh, or, or AstraZeneca vaccine have gotten the reverse. So if you get got Pfizer as your first, and most of them got Pfizer, so second, they've been given a different uh, vaccine. So again, data will emerge from that particular platform to be able to advise us. A smaller study from Germany's Saarland University also showed a stronger immune response in patients who received AstraZeneca, followed by Pfizer, than they did in patients who had received two doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine. However, both studies have not gone through the peer review process where independent scientists evaluate them. Uh, more data would be coming, but it's a great addition to flexibility. Whether this is, so to say, a more general principle that you know can be applied is something to be determined. And that is why it is also important for us to be able to get other vaccines so that we can be able to trial those in our own local se setting. Kenya is hoping to scale up vaccination with the arrival of 13 million doses of the one-shot Johnson & Johnson vaccine, as well as 1.6 million doses of the Pfizer vaccine. In the last 24 hours, 531 new cases have been confirmed out of a sample size of 8,154. 20 deaths have also been reported, though late reports, raising the cumulative fatalities to 3,671. Raquel Mugai, Citizen TV.